Hi, Murray here. I just want to give you a bit of a greenhouse tour today. But the first segment I want to show you is our Indy 23 system. And unfortunately we're in a situation where we're going to have to close this down temporarily because we've run out of water. Our water hole down the back where we've been drawing water from for the last 15 years, I guess, we've now got down to the point where we're just pumping mud out of the bottom. So we've had to start using our tank water, our rain water from the house, which means that very soon we'll start having to buy water to get water carted in for our greenhouse, greenhouses and for our aquaponic systems. So um, that's really unfortunate and a sad day, but I guess that's what happens. That's the reality of life. Australia is a country that has fire and flood and then it has droughts. And this is a pretty big drought. And uh, sometimes you wonder if these things, if it'll ever actually rain again. But we know it will. It's just a matter of when. So this morning we've got a charity that comes uh, periodically about once a fortnight and take all our lettuce that we grow. Uh, so this morning we're going to come and take all this beautiful lettuce away and that'll leave this bed empty and over here we've got a whole lot of kale as you can see and uh, we're going to leave that hopefully for a few more weeks yet and just minimise the amount of uh, plants that we're feeding water to because the main usage of the water is the plants. If you don't have very many plants in the system then you don't need much water. So we're going to try that for a little while by, by decommissioning this bed first of all and then just keeping the kale growing. We're not going to plant anything else in these beds and just keep our beautiful kale growing and uh, see if we can spin it out a little bit. And we'll reduce the amount of fish food, of course, and if we have to, we'll take some of the fish out and distribute them around to other tanks so we can just minimise the amount of um, water that this system will use so we can keep the water the climates down. But hey, have a look at these beautiful lettuce. Aren't they great? They're just really great. The charity will come and get these today. Uh, beautiful cost lettuce. Look at that. Lovely clean roots. You know, the system's running so well, it's just a shame that we have to stop um, planting stuff in it for the time being. But anyway, they'll go to a charity today, which is a good course. Now, come up this way. Now, this is the wicking bed, and of course, the wicking bed also requires water. And we've got some beautiful plants here. Um, these are beetroot, you know, we use the small leaves in the salad. We've got some peppers coming along, and we've also got some radish up there and some carrots beyond that. And we're going to keep that running for a while, although we're not going to put any additional plants in it now. There's quite a few bare patches we could plant up, but we're not going to plant them up because of lack of water. Uh, so we'll just try and minimise everything in this system. The same with the beds over here. You can see there's one bed here that we've just recently re-graveled because it was five or six years old, the gravel in there. So we re-graveled that. We've actually shut that bed down now. It's not using any water at all. And the bed behind us has got, got a nice papaya tree in it that we'll wait till we harvest them off. And when they harvest it off, then we'll get rid of that as well. So, we won't have to do any of that if it rains soon. <laughs> okay, and then further in our ND23 system, we have this tower system, which are these beautiful grow pockets. As you can see, we've already shut these down. We harvested out of them, so we're not going to replant in them. We've switched these particular towers off. We've only got two that are left running, and we're just going to run them until these um, lettuce, which is about another week, they'll be ready to harvest and send off somewhere. And then we'll shut them down, unfortunately, unless it rains soon. And we really need it to rain soon, believe you me. Mm -hmm. 